In this tutorial, I will walk through the layer options in Inkscape version 0.45. What are layers? Layers are a way to separate objects by putting them on different levels. When one does this, they get further control over one or more entities that could make up a group. So let me explain. When you start off Inkscape, for example, you draw on one layer by default. Okay, so if I duplicate this here, change our colors, I have two objects that are on the same layer. One is in front of the other. So this is basically how layers work. If I want to reorganize um, these two objects, what I can do is select one or the other and move it to the back. And now I have the dark circle on top of the red circle. That's kind of the way layers work. But with layers, you have a little bit more control. So let's go to the layer pull down and we'll select the layer dialog box. And you'll notice that I have one layer listed and a couple options beside it. These two objects are on the same layer. And what I can do with that, I can turn the, the visibility on or off, or I can lock the layer. When I lock the layer, that means I cannot select anything that is on that layer. It's locked to the canvas. I can also set the opacity of that layer to anything I want. Okay, so let's make another layer. We do that by selecting our Create New Layer button. and We'll make layer 2 and it asks me the position of this layer. The position of this layer works very similar to the position buttons that you have up here. So I could position this layer above layer 1 or I could put it below layer 1. I'm going to choose to put it below. Okay, now I've made a new layer. Now, how do I get one of my objects onto that new layer? Well, I do that by selecting one of the objects and hitting, I'm sorry, holding the shift button down or the page up or the page down button. If I hit page down, you'll see that I've just moved this red circle from layer one to layer two. If I select my dark layer, you see that I have layer one highlighted. The layer dialog box shows me which object that I have selected. Also, I have a uh, selection tool down here in my status bar, so I could select on layer 2 and draw something on layer 2. So if I hide layer 2 objects, you'll see that, it, that everything is hidden except for the layers that are exposed, and vice versa. I can lock layer 2, move everything else around, and I could also take uh, layer 1, for example, and change its opacity without changing the other layers. If I decide to change a layer name, for example, uh, maybe I want to call this um, the red layer instead of layer 2, I can just select the text and give it a new name. And that's, quite frankly, that's uh, about as easy as it gets. Um, I can reorder these layers if I wish to do so by using the arrow keys here. So if we put our red layer on top, you'll see that it's on top of our dark circle. If I decide to reorder the red layer and put it below layer one, you'll see how that changes on the canvas. You also have some other options in here. 
raise layer, lower layer, layer top, and layer bottom. These four options here are also listed down here on these buttons. So everything that you see here can be controlled in the dialog box itself. If I wish to delete a layer, you want to make sure that, that nothing is important on that layer, otherwise it'll get deleted. But I could take the layer and just delete it. And it's that easy. And that is layers in Inkscape. Thank you for watching. I'm HeathenX.